Good morning. Welcome back. It is Friday. Finally made it to the end of the week. Ready for some uh, relaxation this weekend. Not sure what plans we've got. If if uh, if we do have any plans at all, um, I just plan on doing some uh, watching some NASCAR return of NASCAR at Richmond. I'm excited about that. Um, but uh, this is part three of the flea market find. This is going to be all cards from. Three various flea markets that we went to uh, this past Saturday in the greater Cincinnati area. Definitely going to be returning to some of those places. So let's go ahead and get rolling with some of these. So it's mostly inserts, parallels, and stuff. They had a few of these oddball IndyCar cards, so I want to pick them up. Johnny Rutherford, it looked like I got a duplicate there. And Bobby Ray Hall might have to do some TTMs there. Got a 98 Max Dale Earnhardt. That was the only one that I seen in the... Uh, the guy had a pretty much like a quarter box, dime box, whatever. Was going through that. Got a Dale Jarrett parallel and explosive. As well as this one. Uh, the No Bull $1 million win. Then uh, some SPX. I almost said SRX, but SPX. This is the blue parallel of Jeff Gordon. And what year is this? Was this 97, 98? Yeah, 98 it looks like. Then we got the Terry Labonte base. A Ken Schrader blue parallel. We have a Jeff Gordon, another blue. I guess I picked up two of those. But nonetheless, then we have a parallel 98 high gear Tony Stewart. So yeah, we have a rookie explosive of Tony Stewart from 98 VIP. Then the base Tony Stewart rookie from VIP. Looks like we got a few more SPX from 90, 97, 98, whatever. Blue Bobby Hamilton. Blue parallel, that is. DW base. Johnny Andretti base. I don't like, I mean, I think these are just incredible looking cards. The camera doesn't do it justice. Then we have Dale Jarrett because you got the hollow foil image over here. You have nice clean look. They're die cut, so they would grade rough. I'm going to get my, uh, my other phone out here. Because I want to use the flashlight on this next card. Because it may not show up real great. It's the Richard Petty Whisk card. So I wanted to put a little bit of a light behind it. So you could see it. Got his uh, Richard Petty says goodbye. So some footage from ESPN. His final race. So I thought that was a pretty cool pick up there. Can't even remember what booth I picked that up in. But nonetheless. And so I've got a bunch of insert cards here. That we picked up. And just, again, various booths that had various various boxes to go through. I couldn't remember if I needed this one for the set. Turns out I don't, but still a cool card that any Hamlet Hot Pursuit. We have a Jeff Gordon preview for 95 images. Fred Lorenzen by the numbers insert. Young Lions, Casey Atwood. And this one is in almost flawless condition. I think that little white specks on the... The soft sleeve in there but i seen this and i was like i'm gonna have to get that looks like there might be a little bit of chipping around those edges but the front of it looks really really nice of course adam petty is the, i believe the card you want in this set maybe it's jimmy johnson i can't remember that's the first one of those that i've had then we've got some uh record pace insert we've got jeff burton i picked up all the ones they had of these bobby labani i like the way they look Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, we have DJ once again, Matt Ken. So look how young Matt looks there. Looks like he's not even old enough to be part of the Gillette Young Guns there. Tony Stewart, likewise. The oil can set. Always thought that was a super cool set to, uh, I might try to put that one together because that is a, a pretty fun set. We have the uh, high-tech NHRA, the Christmas tree, and if those of you that are not drag racing fans, the uh, starting line has a series of lights known as a Christmas tree that the drivers pre-stage, stage, and then accelerate from. We've got Trickle with the uh, swap and paint from Max. I can't remember what year it is. Chad Little. Let's look at the back and see what year it is. I hate these lights in here. They just don't pick up well. I'm going to look at this off-camera. Probably like 98, yeah, 98, because it's got the 50th anniversary logo there. Jimmy Spencer driving for Travis Carter. Kenny Irwin would have been his rookie season for Robert Yates. Then we have a national 
National Trading Card Day of Jeff Gordon. And then a Haley Deegan Spotlight Prism White Sparkle. So I thought that was super cool. Had a really good price on it, so I had to grab that one. Then we have uh, a few uh, few relics and autographs here. So we're going to start off. This is kind of the pseudo relic set, the Burning Desire, because there is race used tire kind of ground up and glued to the board there. But you have one side is um, Extreme Fire, this side's Burning Desire. You put them together, it makes a stack of tires, so it's pretty cool. I can't remember if I need this one for my set or not. We got a Max. Pappas autograph. I've got him in person, but I don't think I have any um, any certified autos of him. Let's look at the back of that. Max Pappas. It is numbered at the bottom, 34 out of 50. We got a Tina Gordon. I don't think I have any of hers either. Don't believe this one is numbered. She did race up. I just realized those two are truck series drivers. Got a nice Brad K sheet metal. This one being blue is going to be numbered. And that's the price somebody had on it at some point. Don't believe that's what I paid for it, but 133 out of 199. Of a nice Casey Kane Prime, 15, or I'm sorry, 19 out of 50. Then our final card. I thought this one was super cool. Delena Harvick, because she wears the fire suit in the family. Uppercuts, numbered. 19 out of 75. So, uh, I don't ever remember seeing like a Delana specific card like this. So, I seen that one, had to get it, thought that was super cool. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, this is our final installment, final three installments of the flea market finds from uh, last weekend's run to Ohio. And I will definitely be going back to those flea markets. But being where they are, it'll probably be once or twice a year because it is about a two-hour drive for us. And we're going to have to make a couple days of it. Have to stay in a hotel one night just to be able to, you know, make it work and have uh, have time to be able to go out and about and, and, and see every booth and every, every vendor and so forth. But uh, looking forward to going back to do that sometime. It'll probably be next I'm hoping maybe next spring when the weather's a little bit more cool. But uh, in, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're kind of stagnant on subs right now. We're at 2380 and holding steady for a few days. So we got 120 more to go. Once we get to 2500, we do we will do, be doing a giveaway here. I think you guys will like the ideas that I have. And really don't want to say anything about it until we get to that 2500 mark. Because... <clears throat> And I think it's important that we have steady, healthy, and organic growth on the channel. So, that is that. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. We will be back tomorrow. And we'll probably be ripping something tomorrow. Not sure what exactly yet, but we'll find something to rip. So, thanks again, and we'll see you at noon for Fastbacks.